Republican leaders announced today they're reopening the legislature next week to the public. They're also calling on the governor to reopen more businesses. Meantime, pastors file a lawsuit accusing the governor of discriminating against churches. If there's ever been a time our communities need the church, it is now. Pastor Ron Beatty, who heads the political group Return America, announces the lawsuit during a rally outside the legislature. He's joined by several Republican members of the General Assembly, including representatives from the triad. My name is Steve Jarvis. I represent District 80. Thank you all for coming. I'm Larry Potts. I represent District 81. I'm Jerry Carter. I'm from uh, Rockingham, which is uh, my city is Reedsville. Dist the crowd includes a number of pastors and church supporters, almost none of them wearing masks or practicing social distancing. But Pastor Beatty promises to make safety a high priority if the governor backs off his stay-at-home order and allows church services to move back indoors. We will protect our people to the best of our ability. As a matter of fact, I think most of our churches will bring more protection to our people than they're getting at Walmart. Republican leaders, meantime, plan to reopen the legislative building to the public when lawmakers return to work next week. Visitors can expect to have their temperatures checked, but the announcement makes no mention of requiring masks. Senate leader Phil Berger has urged the governor to reopen barbershops, salons, as well as restaurants, and has questioned limits placed on churches. Quote, the majority of states in our region and the country have reviewed the science, facts, and data and have reached a different conclusion than Governor Cooper's. North Carolina is not the only state with a Republican legislature challenging a Democratic governor on this issue. Yesterday, Republicans in Wisconsin won their fight when a conservative Supreme Court gave them a victory, overturning the Democratic governor's stay-at-home order. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.